What's happening guys? In today's workout video, we're gonna be focusing on working that ankle joint. So if you've ever struggled with weak ankles or maybe sore feet, this would be a great workout for you to give a go. And I'm gonna leave the entire workout in the description below so you can give it a go yourself. Let's go get it. We start off with some dynamic stretches to get that lower body warmed up and ready to go. So for our mobility we got Sav, she's rolling that lacrosse ball on the bottom of her foot to loosen up all those tendons and then also on the back of that calf to really get that ankle working and moving the way that it should. So we're teaching stability on the foot by creating instability. So you have 26 bones in your feet and they all move separately. But when we wear shoes, they become almost one solid piece. So what we're doing today is taking our shoes off, getting ourselves barefoot and really relying on all those stabilizers to get working. So this is gonna help us with our feet and our ankles working that stability. So what we're working, We've got single leg line hops. We're jumping forwards and backwards so the ankle is going to stabilize. We've got lateral single line hops. And this one, our foot stabilizing side to side. And the last one we're going to be working is our ski jumps. We're jumping side to side, landing on one foot. That ankle really has to work to stabilize. but on command. So I'm gonna say go, and you're gonna scrape, you're just gonna continue to scrape. And when I say go again, fire out, scrape, and go. Yep. So the key when you're scraping, when we, when we, teach, when we teach scraping, you don't wanna to be too wide or too close. And on this drill, you can tell when you get caught out, because if you get here, you can't fire out yeah, and same exactly. as you get you get caught in a bad spot so scrape always here yeah. and at any point yeah. you can go yeah, so we'll scrape back ready go and go yeah yeah i'll say go back pedal Now we're moving on to a reactive drill, and this is one of my favorites. Sav's moving between two cones, and then has to react and catch the tennis ball. Her ankles work really hard to stabilize because she doesn't know when she has to suddenly change direction. The reason why I like this drill so much is because it's a lot more like a game situation. You don't know what's gonna happen, you see something and then you react suddenly to it. And this is when most ankle injuries are going to occur. So you need to get those ankles 
stable, so they're ready to change direction. Our next reactive movement is a very common DB drill, but what we're looking for is her ability to change direction and to adjust to the ball. We're putting her in awkward positions, so then her ankles need to stabilize to get her to change direction and catch that ball. For the last part of this drill, I told her I may throw it or I may keep it, which simulates again another game situation, whether they're reacting to the pass or the run. Right here, she does a good job of planting that foot and coming up to make the tackle. Our last reactive drill is real simple. Sav's going to stand in the middle of five cones. I'm going to throw the ball to one of those five cones and she has to fire out and go and catch it. What I really want to see from the athlete is that they get low when they change direction. This not only puts the ankle in the safest position, but also it's most powerful. So we want our athletes getting low when they fire out and also when they catch and want to slow down. That's a wrap for today's workout. Thanks for watching, guys. And if you have any videos you'd like to see in the future, leave it in the comments section below, and we'll see you in that next video.